Now, this is the sixth subdivision. Compare the fraction and fill in the blanks. So, okay. Now, let's uh, let's start the problems. First question: three by seven and six by seven. Okay. So, denominator. Look at the denominators. First, you have to look at the denominators. Or both denominators are same or different. First, you have to find out. This is the first step. So, don't forget it. Compare the fraction and fill in the blanks. So, first, what you are going to do? You have to look at the denominator only. So, both in both places, three by seven and six by seven. Both numbers, both fractions are given. So, three is a numerator and seven is a denominator. Six is a numerator and seven is a denominator. In both both the places in both the fraction denominators are same okay so now you have to compare with the numerator so 3 and 6 which is a greater one 6 is a greater one so you have to write 3 by 7 is what less than 6 by 7 okay 3 by 7 is less than 6 by 7 that's the right answer 8 by 15 and 2 by 15 look at this number 8 by 15 8 is a numerator and 15 is a numerator and 2 is a numerator sorry 8 is a numerator 8 by 15 means 8 is a numerator and 15 is a denominator 2 by 15 means 2 is a numerator and 15 is a denominator i've told you always you have to look at the denominator if the denominator same only you have to see the you have to look at the what numerator so if in both fraction uh, what denominators if in both fraction in both fraction denominators are same in both place denominators are same in both fraction denominators are same so you have to look at the numerator only now look from this particular fraction 8 is a numerator in this uh, fraction numerator is 2 so compare which is a greater number 8 is a greater number so you have to put the sign like this this is a greater than greater than this is a lesser than sign so less it is a greater okay it is a less than sign it is a greater than sign okay 8 by 15 is greater than 2 by 15 3 by 7 is less than what 6 by 7 i'll write here 3 by 7 is less than less than 6 by 7 here 8 by 15 is what greater than greater than what 2 by 15 this is the right answer so 3 by 7 so 3 by 7 is less than 6 by 7 8 by 15 is greater than 2 by 15 this is the right symbol next one is arrange the following in ascending order ascending order uh, means you know that very well you have to go in a smaller number to bigger biggest number smaller number smallest number to biggest number or smaller number to bigger number so what you're going to do I have given two sums. Arrange the following in ascending order. So 2 by 9, first question, 2 by 9, 5 by 9, 3 by 9, 4 by 9. I have told you always you have to see the denominators first. This is the first point. Denom look at the denominators. In this fraction, all the denominators are same. So after that, you have to look at the numerators. Look at the numerators 2, 5, 3, 4. So you have to, <coughs> sorry, you have to arrange it in an ascending order according to the numerator so first one is arrange uh, arrange the following in ascending ascending mean you know that ascending ascending means ascending mean smallest to biggest so don't forget it okay smallest to biggest so first number is what you're going to write 2 by 9 Next, what you're going to do, you have to write that is 3 by 9, comma. Next is what you're going to write 4 by 9. Next, you can write 5 by 9. This is the right order. This is the proper ascending order 2 by 9, 3 by 9, 4 by 9. Then finally, what is this? 5 by 9. This is the right answer for this question. So, in this sum, again, 10 by 15, 12 by 15, 11 by 15, and 15 by 15. So, I told you ascending means smallest to biggest. So, here you can use the sign also. You can write the, you can write these two, any, any, these two signs. But, I don't want to uh, put the sign because uh, you are in fourth standard. That is what I don't want to. Sometimes you people, if I, I don't have problem to teach you, but sometimes you are confusing. That is what you just put a comma is enough. So no need to put the sign here. Okay. And 10 by 15, 12 by 15, 11 by 15 and 15 by 15. Okay. Well, next one, what are you going to do? So look at always you have, I've told you many times you have to look at only the denominators. First, whether the, uh, whether the denominators are same or not. Okay. Whether the denominators are same. 
in all the fractions in all the fraction denominators are same so after that what you're going to do the step one all the denominators same in step two you, have, you are going to see the what numerator so numerators 10 12 11 and 15 so according to the numerator so you have to what you have to write the what ascending order so i've told you smallest to biggest so you have to consider only the numerators first so which one is a very small number 10 by 15 okay 10 by 15 comma next is 11 by 15 next is what 12 by 15 last one is 15 by 15 this is the what greatest number the smallest to greatest here also smallest to greatest this is the right answer for the question